Welcome to another informative episode of Health Me. It's just truly who you all, and I am your host for today, as always. And on today's episode, we're going to discuss PAD, peripheral artery disease, or PVA, peripheral vascular disease. Now, there are different ways to look at these symptoms and how to actually approach this. And if you are not uh, obliged with what I'm speaking of, um, concerning circulatory disorders, so circulation in the blood, poor circulation in the arteries, poor circulation in the blood. And on today's episode, we're going to discuss the symptoms and also lifestyle practices that you could oblige to that will assist you with this concern. And this so stick around and let's get into it. So first, let's get into the symptoms. Now, I know a lot of us has uh, circulation issues. We're just not aware that we do. And you might think, oh, I'm too young to have circulation disorders or I'm too active to have circulation disorders. But there are so many symptoms and there are so many remedies as simply as consuming berries, uh, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, mulberries, these things like tart cherry, or they might say cherry tart, or black cherries, these things will assist with circulation disorders or PVA or, or peripheral artery disease. But these symptoms that you want to look out for are very mild in some cases. It could be a slight numbing sensation in the limbs. It could be the leg or it could be the arm. Uh, it could be tightening of the muscles. Uh, in most cases, the limbs get cold. Uh, you can't really move your hands as fast as you want to. You might feel a slight tingling sensation in the fingertips and those areas and the toe or the heel. These are a few of the symptoms that you'll be looking for. Now, in some cases, you might find yourself having different issues that are taking place, tired, fatigue, and that could be a severe concern for most persons. So you wanna look out for these things, circulation or uh, artery clog concerns. These are different symptoms of peripheral artery concerns. And I think what most persons don't realize is as simply as avoiding dairy and starch, and I can kind of list those things off like eggs, cheese, cream, butter, milks, pastries, processed foods, starchy items like fries and potatoes, uh, rice and pasta. Now there are healthy versions of these things and you want to kind of uh, look for those uh, alternatives, but you want to avoid starch, processed food, saturated sugars, and dairy. Uh, these things will lead to circulation disorders or PVA. Uh, and I'll try my best to, to make this as easily understandable as possibly could, all right? So those are some of the issues. Now, shiny skin and hair loss, most definitely. If you realize that your hair is falling out, um, in some places, your legs, that are, uh, those are some of the symptoms as well. And also, for persons who have healing disorders, whereas, the, the body is taking a period of time to get back to homeostasis where it's taking too long to heal. Now, we have a few items that you could actually use here at Essential Alcohol to help with this concern. And I'm gonna go over those few. So, poor circulation issue or PAD could lead to diabetic concerns or clogged arteries. A lot of persons don't realize this, but what happens is if you're a person that eats a lot of starchy food or dairy food, your blood becomes cogated where it sticks together like honey. You know, your blood's supposed to be flowing through those arteries and if it's sticking together, it takes a longer period of time for your blood vessels to actually open to have that blood flow through. So you want to find other alternatives. Now here at Essential Alkaline, we have a variety of berries, antioxidant berries, uh, berries such as blackberry, wild berries, uh, tart cherry or cherry tart, the black cherry, the mulberries. And if you can't find those items, you can actually go to a local food store and you can actually find a 
less concentrated versions of the juices to consume. Or we have what we have is a circulation tonic, which a lot of persons use for different issues. Diabetic concerns is one of those, but the circulation tonic is always a best route to go. Taking about three to six ounces of this would help to remove poor circulation issues or PVA, as you might know in the medical term. And then we have other concerns and other items you can use, like pure black cherry. Now it's, it's filled with iron, of course, high in fiber, which helps to clean the colon. So it has a lot of benefits to it, other than delivering a lot of iron to the blood, which would help with circulation disorders. And if you're a person that has diabetic concerns, the DDX4, which helps to remove diabetic issues. Now, when I say the word remove, yes, it does. It does regulate your blood flow. It does produce uh, perspective of chromium, which helps with insulin issues in the pancreas. So the DDX4 is the go-to product when it comes to diabetic issues. Now, these are just a list of a few of the things that you could use. So if you're a person that has uh, PAD, you want to, once again, try exercising. Cardio is perfectly fine. You want to go walking, cycling, swimming, taking your dog for a walk or your raccoon or whatever you might have as a pet. And those would be some of the basic things that you could do. Now, if you're a person that likes to make your own juices, wild berries, uh, cherry or tart cherry is a good option. Grapes, not so much unless it's a Concord grape. Those are a good option because, you know, they're pretty good and high in iron. And you need iron to produce uh, rapid red while wow, white blood cells in most cases. All right. So I don't want to kind of draw you out too long. This is just a basic video of what you could do, what you can avoid, what you should avoid, what you can apply. And do keep in mind that PVA it pretty much can approach anyone at any age. Most of us tend to get this issue around 30 and going up into our 40s because our digestive system tends to start to regulate and slow down. And the more things that you consume, you know, it kind of busts up the system. So you want to kind of want to avoid, as I said before, starchy food and also red meat or meat in general because it, it kind of messes with the blood flow of sugar going into the system. All right. So we'll have more videos on diabetes, but this is just to kind of highlight PVA, the symptoms are peripheral artery concerns, or they might say PAD, and how to remove poor circulation by doing a simple basic perspective or simple basic things, such as consuming more berries in your diet or applying more iron-based food into the diet, uh, like kale or spinach or callaloo or bok choy and so forth. These are just basic things you can actually use, saute or steam. Uh, it could be eaten with banana, which is also very good in potassium and iron if it's done green or boiled into the skin. Uh, so there are different ways to actually apply this. Just try to avoid starch, dairy, and, and you kind of find your way around this. And we normally tell most persons, give it about six to eight weeks, about two months, three months tops, and then you can actually start taking it as a precautionary measure. So for me, I would take the DDX for at least three to four times out of the month if necessary, and I'll drink the circulation tonic at least once a week just to avoid circulation disorders or I try to avoid poor circulation conditions. So that is my method. Now, if you have diabetes, we have a diabetic package here at Essential Alkaline, and you can actually apply this over a period of time by taking two to three capsules twice daily. All right, these capsules are plant-based, they are 100% natural, they're herbal, and it simulates the system perfectly fine. All right, so if you have more questions and concerns, contact us here at Essential Alkaline. Um, yours truly, who you haul, your alkaline nutritionist. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe for more information. And if you have any questions, call us at 395-3301. So until next time, do enjoy, and thanks for joining us here on Healthy.